my name is Carla Garcia. I am a general pediatrician. I am the program director of the UTCOM Pediatric Residency Program. We have a very robust mentor program. Uh, one of the things that uh, we encourage is a strong mentor and resident relationship to get you through those th three tough years of training. Uh, having a mentor to guide you through what rotations you need to choose, uh, what subspecialty you want to go into, guiding you through the licensure process and board preparation. Um, having that one-on-one -on -one mentor is one of the strengths of our program. The one-on-one -on -one working with the faculty without a fellow being an intermediary is a strength that our residents really appreciate. So our faculty is very engaged in education and love to teach. So having that one-on-one -on -one working time with an attending for more than just an hour a day during rounds is an experience that uh, you might not get in a larger program. I'm Sarah Rodriguez Sowell. I'm a second year pediatric resident. We are piloting the three plus one schedule where we work uh, three weeks on a rotation and then one week in clinic versus being on a rotation and having to leave in the middle of your you know, elective or your floor month or whatever you happen to be on, run across the street, do it afternoon of your, um, your clinic and then come back across and try to finish up whatever you're doing on the other side. Um, instead, you're fully immersed in your elective or you're fully immersed in clinic. And I feel like that's a really great opportunity for um, learning because you don't have to shift gears at any point. Um, I also love the fact that that gives me at least a golden weekend a month, if not more, because we normally have that weekend off. Um, and it really allows you to have like a nice eight to five every month, like just, you know, that week, um, even in like the craziest, if you're on pick you, there's always kind of a little buffer between the next rotation. I feel like that's really helps with the mental health of our program is that we have at least one week a month that we can be normal for a little bit. So my name is David Sharon. I'm a intern, uh, here to do my pediatrics residency with the eventual goal of uh, doing a fellowship in intensive care, either for pediatrics or neonatal intensive care. Uh, the attendings are amazing. Um, they're, they are fantastic teachers. They don't mind teaching. They take you, you know, really walk you through that teaching process uh, and not just expect you to do a lot of, I mean, there's an expectation to do a lot of work, but they expect to teach as well and they enjoy teaching and that's why they're here. And I think that was something when I came here to do a, a rotation in the NICU, I picked up very quickly that there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with attendings and they love to teach. So that was a big thing for me. Because we are a comprehensive regional pediatric center, we have a fairly large catchment area. We are the only regions children's hospital. Our partners uh, are easily an hour and a half to two plus hours away. That means that we are the place where level one trauma, um, pediatric trauma, uh, will come to. And we uh, are also a full facility hematology oncology um, uh, service. So patients do receive induction services here. What does that mean? That means our residents are going to get a great variety of exposure to high acuity, uh, patients to plenty of bread and butter, to uh, a wide variety of pathology and diagnoses, a wide variety of cultural and ethnicities, as well as different um, levels of uh, socioeconomic um, exposure that'll help them be a well-rounded pediatrician in their training. So I'm Marley Patel. I'm a second year resident here and I'm originally from East Lansing, Michigan. Um, but I went to medical school in North Carolina and then I matched here for residency. We're a very busy place and um, you see everything. So you see the bread and butter of pediatrics, but then you also see some rare things just because we are a bigger hospital with more resources. So something might get sent out for something smaller, but then we have the resources and the faculty to take care of that. You're gonna get more than you need for general pediatrics, but then if you are interested in fellowship, there is opportunities for you to learn something or to see something new. 
My name is Alex Biller. Um, I grew up outside of Charleston, South Carolina, uh, and I'm currently here in my third year of residency. Recently, we've had the beautiful opportunity to see this brand new outpatient center come to life, um, seeing it come from the ground up. It used to be really nothing uh, in this spot, and now we have this big, brand new, beautiful building um, that is much, much more child-friendly, much more pediatric-leaning. Uh, we have really easy access to our subspecialty clinics. Um, we have beautiful new exam rooms that really help the workflow uh, just kind of come to life and, and really flow a lot better. And it's been really great to see all of the little hidden gems for kids around here. So everything from the trains above the hang glider, the collections of toys. Um, there's even a secret garden that kids can go up into. And it's just such a great opportunity to see the growth in this area. So being able to see from when I first started here and we didn't have this building to now having this beautiful outpatient center where it's focused completely on the care of pediatric patients. Well, if you want to be well-trained, feel competent, exceptionally competent when you graduate from a pediatric residency program, you want to come to UT College of Medicine. If you want to have a program that is going to care about um, a good work-life balance and your overall wellness, you want to come to UT College of Medicine. If you want to have one-on-one -on -one educational experience with your faculty in a small family type of environment, you want to come to UTCOM. And I guarantee you that we train excellent residents because our standards, um, we set a pretty high standard for our residents because we want them to feel very confident when they go out, whether it be into general pediatrics or fellowship. So if you want that small to medium size, one-on-one -on -one faculty, family feel, and a great city, we're the place for you to come.